Before we get going with today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys about a new sponsor we've got on the channel, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is an online subscription service where you get really good bang for your buck and you can get really cool trinkets and gifts for yourself once a month. It's free to sign up and you can skip a month if you need to. This one's the grounds kit. Bespoke has a ton of different options for you guys to choose from. Lots of different types of boxes you can get every month and you can always switch around if you need to. But this one, this one is the grounds kit. One of the insanely many options you can get from them, which by the way, every single box has at least $70 worth of items in it, 45 bucks. We've got this guy for my outdoorsy people. These reties can come hella in handy. Oh, this is cool. This guy was placed in there. It's made to hold gear if you're at camp. Another outdoorsy thing. I know this guy could come in, come in useful. <laughs> I need this for the garage. I'm using this for the garage for sure. If the outdoorsy stuff doesn't tickle your fancy, there's tons of stuff to choose from. You can go to my link, go to Bespoke Post, and you can take a quiz based on things that you like and don't like, and they'll pick out a package for you. Don't worry, if you don't like the one they pick for you, you can choose through different ones. There's literally tons of things. There's smoking and drinking tools, there's craft stuff, there's stuff for whiskey, there's stuff for everybody. Use the link that I've got for you in the top of the description, go do some browsing, take the quiz. I've also got a promo code for you guys to use to save a little bit of money. Go check out Bespoke Post and see what fits you. Get yourself a little gift every month, check out Bespoke Post. Thank you for sponsoring, let's go on to the video. I was gonna pull the RB today, but while I was inside doing some editing and work yesterday, I got an email saying all of my Evo three parts are ready. I've been kind of like planning this and I've been waiting for these parts for actually like months now. Finally pulled the trigger, got the parts, and we're gonna go pick it up today. Here pretty soon, at the same time we're building this motor, we're gonna be, where is, oh my Evo three's in my garage. We're gonna be giving the Evo three some power. By the way, the house is almost done. This is the color of it, and I'm really excited about it. They still gotta do the downspouts and gutters and stuff, but I haven't driven the, ooh, it's dirty. It's finally sunny for the first time in about two or three weeks, so I'm gonna get dusty old AMG out. We're gonna take a road trip. You look so cute all tucked away in here. Later, house. All right, boys, find my mask. Today we're at Forced Performance, picking up some goodies. I'm excited to show you guys what I chose and why. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Um, All right. Manifold, and then your turbo and the other okay. related install goods are in there. I'm starting to think I really did only buy this car to go get fuel and parts from other builds. So thanks for having a nice, beautiful passenger seat to hold parts and gas in. Oh shoot, I gotta make sure the, the seat, you guys want your seat warmers on? Gotta make sure the seat warmers on so the parts don't get too cold. Yes sir. It's a nice pressure getter. We finally starting the Evo build? Something just died over there. Let's get you out of here. One of the last times she'll have a quiet startup in a while. Hello world. <laughs> This car is gonna be sick. A lot of you guys have been really anticipating this Evo build. I know I've got the other Evo build, and uh, I'll probably update you guys pretty soon on that. We're getting moving on the motor th stuff, and uh, the car's paint color has been chosen, and Jose's about to start painting, but this car is unique. It's also a valuable car. These in their stockish form are becoming more and more rare. Commodities every single day. First off, before I show you what all I got, this car has incredible character. It's naturally a very fun, peppy car, and I kinda just wanna keep it similar to how it is. When I bought this car, I did a lot of research. Because these are so unique and so cool, and like, because I got a, a factory dandelion yellow, I wanted to keep it pretty authentic. So when I got it, I did a ton of research on what to do that didn't like completely change the car. Also, this does mean we'll finally have an exhaust. <laughs> That's one, not quiet, and two, not just stock. Ow. 
I've also got some more suspension components. What are we doing here with this? This is not, there we go. I've got some more suspension components, like I said, to dial in the rear fitment. It's hard to get stuff to fit on these cars. Got some camber and tow arms for this thing, so we'll be able to dial that in pretty soon. But here we go. Let me show you guys what I got. I am obviously genuinely excited to show you. These cars, a lot of you guys know, have the 4G63s. So they actually have, a, it's basically a DSM 4G63. I don't actually think it's much different at all. This car happens to be very light and very fun, and uh, when you go for something that's too high of horsepower, you sometimes kill the enjoyment of it. And uh, it's not what I wanted to do. And I wanted to keep it stock looking. Honestly, this car's gonna be kind of a sleeper. If it wasn't yellow with white wheels, you wouldn't even know. Lo and behold, Here we go. A lot of people say that it's good to do like the Evo 9 turbo upgrade for these cars. No, horrible idea. The Evo 9 turbo upgrade does not actually work on Evo 3. It does, but it's dumb. I looked into that and I found out that it basically didn't work. Plus Evo 9 turbos are so, literally so stupid expensive now. Like what the, dude. After doing lots of research and with some help from the early Evo guys, I found the Literally the most perfect turbo and the perfect combo for this car ever. We're gonna take a little, we're gonna pop a squat right here. This is the 68 HTA from Force Performance. The cool thing about this is this quite literally bolts on to every single component that I have on the car currently. I could put this turbo on right now, use the same oil lines, use the same manifold, use the same downpipe, the same exhaust and everything. Now I don't wanna do that because this thing flows like crazy. Let's unlock this boy. It's almost identical in size and shape and look to the current turbo and like the Evo 9's turbo. But the upside is it flows more and it flows better than an Evo 9 turbo. This little guy is capable of about 450, probably up to 500, but 500 would be like max boosties. This little bitty boy is gonna get us to probably 400, 450. I've got a fuel system from Deechworks as well that I've had sitting around for a while. I'm really excited to finally get to go on this. We're gonna be running E85. I've also got an ECU coming. This guy's cool. He uses the stock oil lines and stock water lines and everything. So I quite literally have to fabricate nothing. If you guys have built turbo cars before, you know that that's cool. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> One of the biggest reasons why my Lexus is taking so long is because everything on that has to be fabricated, like everything. And I had to get a custom harness, relocate the ECU and everything. So because of this, this is simple. I'm so, I'm so psyched about it. So this turbo was made for the DSMs. But because this, don't ever call this car a DSM again and disrespect it like that, but it's basically a DSM. So this bolts right on and spools right up. That was cringe. Now, this car is old. It's really not that, it's not crusty or anything. I don't import crusty cars, okay? I look at the inspection sheets and make sure that it's not a hunk of crap. Stop importing hunks of crap. Leave them, leave them over there. I got a stock, basically a manifold upgrade. As cool as like ceramic coated uh, octopus looking manifolds are, cast is kind of the way to go. This is also a force performance thing. See, it says FP right there. <laughs> you guys might know force performance. They do a lot of stuff in the Evo DSM Subaru world. They're big with four bangers, but they do stuff everywhere. Probably gonna be running a huge force performance on my Evo 8. This is a stock replacement, but something that flows better than the stock exhaust manifold. The stock manifold, um, it, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine, but it's prone to cracking and uh, it's probably rusty and nasty and it wouldn't hurt to replace it anyways. This is not much more on top of the cost of the turbo, so it's 100% worth it. Along with that, might be in the turbo box. Maybe it's in the turbo box. There we go. A brand new gasket from Force Performance. That can be an incredibly important thing. Honestly, you should just always replace the gasket anytime you can. And then I've got actual OE hardware. Uh, Mitsubishi hardware for this. And so I'm gonna keep that in a box because if I unbox it now, I'm gonna forget where it is and I'm gonna be really pissed. So now that I've shown you what it is, let me actually show you what it looks like. This guy's got an interesting, cute little engine bay. It's actually very packed in here. Ooh, see, nasty. One of the things that I'm super looking forward to is, uh, I mean, removing the heat shield. I can remove the heat shield because that one's coated. I can remove all this kind of stuff and uh, it's gonna basically just fit. You can kind of see the turbo. You can see the little turbo right down there. I'm pretty sure it's the same inlet size and everything and uh, it quite literally bolts onto the downpipe. 
So this this guy will be bolted under there, and that'll make it look nice and clean. The only really eyesore about this engine bay, aside from like the aging and stuff on the aluminum, is uh, the rust on some of the old metal covers. Might even take that off, wire brush it, and spray that black too, make it look nice. Obviously, uh, I'm not gonna be keeping stock downpipe. I'm gonna be getting an entire new exhaust system fabricated for this, so it can not only sound good, but flow better. So a little bit more of the details. We're gonna have bigger injectors. I wanna say we're probably gonna do 1,000 or 1,100. I can't remember what, what Dietrichs we have, but we got bigger injectors for it. What I'm shooting for on this is around four, I'm gonna say 400 conservative. This car could probably easily, high boost, it probably could easily make 450 or so. Wyatt at Force Performance was saying that this guy can spool up to like 32 PSI if you let it. So that's a good, that's good. Mixed with this car, which I think is like 31 to 3200 pounds. Like it's really light. It's gonna be an absolutely insane combination. The great thing is, unlike if I do an Evo 9 turbo swap, I'll be able to keep my intercooler. Everything stays the same. Everything's good. I might get some piping fabricated because I mean, these pipes are all really old. Um, I might likely change the intake. I might do something else. For that, I really want to make this, I mean, this is such a cool car. I want it to be a sick build. But with that in mind, I wanted to pay super close attention to every small detail and not just go full send, but really make sure that I build a proper Evo 3 because again, these are, these are rare. These are hard to come by. In my mind, I'm doing the right build for this. And uh, this thing is gonna be an incredibly fun street car that is spooly, fun, grippy, just an all around incredible car. At the end of every video, I give you guys daily advice. Mine today is short and simple. Your willingness to get things done often determines your success. The people out there in the world that are doing well, that are living big, or the guys that you perceive do well, typically they all have one thing in common. They work really hard. Regardless of what field they are in or what kind of work they do, odds are they're busy and they're getting stuff done. It doesn't have to always necessarily be work. Maybe they just have a good habit of keeping their hands busy. Your willingness to get anything and all things done is what will most likely make you successful. If you have a high willingness to get things done, odds are you wake up every day, you find work to do, and you do it. The people with idle hands, the people that are unwilling to get things done, the people that wake up and go, I can do it tomorrow, odds are you're probably never gonna see them live abundantly. Obviously everybody has a different way to live life. Sometimes people don't want money, sometimes people don't need that, and that's totally fine. But I'm just saying, a lot of people out here want motivation, and what I'm trying to encourage you to do to, to work to get stuff done, to not have idle hands. The lazier you are today, the less you'll have tomorrow. That's actually pretty good too. You guys have an amazing day. And uh, I'll catch you next video. Peace. Hey, I got two, not one, but, 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 two videos. I got two videos for you boys. Watch those two videos, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on so you can know when my videos are uploaded.